Hello, Zachary C. Ashby at Pacific Northwest Family Law. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about uh, dealing with difficult people. Uh, this is something that comes up a lot in family law um, with opposing party or sometimes even opposing counsel. Partly that's the nature of a divorce or a breakup of a relationship. People are angry, they're upset, uh, they make um, maybe uh, instant uh, decisions or uh, in some instances, uh, the other person that you're dealing with is just uh, what we'd call a bully or, or somehow abusive. And they're trying to uh, twist your arm to get what they want without any regard to what you want. So there's a few tips that, that we um, that I try and share with my clients and also with other attorneys at the firm when they're dealing with uh, people who are difficult uh, in these situations. Uh, so I've written them here on my, on my board. Um, the first thing is to leave. Um, what that really means is that you give yourself space, take a deep breath. Um, if someone's sending you a text message, remember you don't have to answer right away. You can wait 24 hours, same with email, even phone calls from difficult people. Um, just get yourself out of that situation until you're not making an emotional response in kind. Because what that, that uh, a difficult person, an abusive person, or someone who, who's very aggressive is trying to do, what a bully is trying to do is get an emotional response from you. They're trying to control how you act in any given situation and force you into either compromising yourself or losing your, your cool or, or getting something, some kind of result um, based on your emotional response to, to their bad behavior. Now, this could be um, calling names, um, directly uh, insulting you or your work or the way you, um, if it's another party and, and you're, you're a party, it's how, how you parent or how you behave or how you were in the relationship. It could be um, as attorneys, how um, you know your last filings, uh, any mistakes you made. Uh, attorneys throw around the word uh, sanction sometime. All of it's very unprofessional and, and only rarely are those kind of things handed out by the court. But um, some attorneys, um, difficult attorneys, throw those things around to try and intimidate um, either other parties or other attorneys even into doing uh, exactly what they want. Uh, problem is it, it sometimes works. So first thing is you, you got to leave that situation and step back, make sure that your response is not emotional, that it's um, more analytical, that's more rational. Don't respond until you're, you've fully thought out the um, result and, and try to figure out exactly what the other party is trying to do to you so that um, it's not, you're not just reactionary, but you are actually in, in control of the situation. Um, second one is to really listen. Um, this works with, with all difficult people. Um, it might mean that you, you clarify exactly what the demand is. You might repeat back to them um, in your own words. Um, and, and again, this is why you have to give yourself space because it's got to be uh, rational and analytical so that you're not um, being insulting back uh, to them and feeding uh, their bad behavior. But you, you repeat it in a, such a way that, that um, you're very clear about their demands. So um, say, so in other words, um, the example I gave before was sanctions. In other words, if we, um, your position is that if we don't withdraw our motion, that you're, you believe our, um, so if, if you're moving to change the parenting plan, um, it might, and the other side comes back and says, take your motion back, or we think it's, fri it's, it's frivolous and you're a bad attorney or your, your party's in bad faith, say so. In other words, um, what you're saying is if we don't go, you believe that if we don't go, if we go forward with this requested change, that, um, that it's in bad faith and not in the inter best interest of the children, uh, something like that. Um, get them to very clarify their position and, and, and take those spots on because that's, um, but that's part of listening. It's trying to get, get to exactly what they're saying is often what, um, 
um, people who are difficult to deal with are difficult because they're not very rational. They're acting from um, a, a position of something um, defense that something's threatening their identity. It might be the, the existence of the litigation itself or, or they otherwise don't know how to act. And this goes for parties or, or for attorneys. So I mean, all difficult people um, will, would tend to do this. Um, the next thing is if someone has a pattern of bad behavior is to plan out how you're going to respond to them in the future. Have that plan because if they're going to respond, if they respond in the same way every time, um, you can you can anticipate that you can plan it out. Or if you if you can anticipate how they're going to respond to um, a maneuver or, or a, a something you're doing in the court or something, a message you're sending to them, or a letter, or, or something like this, um, then you can plan out your response. So you're not, you're also not just reacting, right? So that you stay a step ahead of them. This does require you to be have self self awareness. So a plan might be, well, if they react by filing a motion for sanctions, we're going to take all of these communications that we've had that are in. Um, that they're in emails and texts, and we're going to file those with the court so the court knows exactly what the communication has been. Or if they respond back and refuse to um, negotiate, well, we're, we're going to go forward with our motion or something along those lines, uh, whatever it is, but you have it planned out ahead of time um, how it is you're going to react so that um, you're, not, you're not reacting in the moment, how you're going to act. So it's the difference between action and reaction, right? And then, and then along with that, you'll you'll want to practice um, dealing with someone. So finding um, it, it could be a counselor, it could be a, um, I, mean, it, I mean, attorneys uh, often have other attorneys they can bounce ideas off with. Um, if if you have an attorney, you've hired one, you can kind of role play those positions where where you are responding to some of the intimidation tactics of the other side so you know um, how to respond it and you can respond in the moment um, what we found what I found is often people um, if, if they're going to behave in a certain way will always behave that way so you you can usually anticipate what what it's going to be now now the last one and this is an advanced tactic um, and you have to be careful with it because it can it can backfire um, so I don't want it up there very much but um, one thing that we found when you have a bully um, that they're throwing punches or thro threatening to throw punches is that you um, punch back and harder than than what they're threatening and, and it should only take once and you have to plan it out and, it, and again again you have to remove your emotions from that situation. Don't let the bully control you, but um, also don't let them roll over you. Take a calculated, reasoned position, stand your ground, and when it's time for it, make sure you're you're ready to punch back. So that, um, uh, especially when when you're in litigation, the the uh, court is aware of the bad behavior, and you can bring that forward. So. Following all of these uh, will help you to manage and control a difficult person. Now, I, I will tell you, um, because because it's family law, you might find yourself in a situation where you're an abusive or otherwise um, relationship with, with a bully and, and it's time to leave. And someone who's experienced in family law, who's done it a lot, who focuses their practice on it, will be able to help you so you know exactly how to act in the moment and you can move on. So if you have any comments please, or, or questions, you can comment on the video. You can send us an email to info at pnwfamilylaw.com or you can call uh, Pacific Northwest Family Law anytime um, at uh, uh, 509 866 4111. Thank you.